Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome here to our 11th race of the season. As we're getting set for the running of the Craftsman 225, race number 11 of the NR2003 Diva Truck Series. As we're getting set to go Super Speedway Racing from Ricky Raceway, as we're getting set for 30 laps of racing here today. Junie Carter starts on the pole position in the number 75 Spears uh, Silverado. Let's see, the 75 comes into this race, Junie Carter, that is. Junie Carter cannot find her in the points. Junie Carter, I think I went too far. She is 15th in the point standings. Elena Lydia alongside of her. Lydia is 6th in the point standings. Abigail Lynn comes in this race as the points leader, and Ruby Walker alongside. Ruby Walker is 11th in the standings as you look at the rest of the starting lineup for today's race here at Ricky. Abigail Lynn, I mentioned, is the points leader over another Abigail. Abigail Furling, 22 points ahead of her. 23 ahead is Claudia Flores, who is third in the standings after losing the points lead last time out at Ricky or at uh, Phoenix, rather. We're here at Ricky Boyles. Naomi Hudson is 70 points back, fourth in the standings. Ruby White is fifth, 74 back. 114 back is Alina Lydia, who starts on the outside front row right there. Is sixth in the standings. Eva Mata, 139 points back, is seventh in the standings. Hanukkah Watanabe is eighth. Aurora Cones, ninth. And Hazel Eveling completes our top ten. Here we go, getting ready to go racing. Got trouble with a truck coming to pit road. And I don't know who that is. That's uh, Olga Scott with a problem. But uh, we're going to get ready to go green flag racing anyway. Green flag's in the air. We're racing here at Ricky. And that's a tough break for Olga Scott in the 08. And she is off to a disappointing start. To this race. Here's race 38th in the point standings. Next to last in points of the drivers that have run every race this season. That is a big tough, tough break for her. As Junie Carter will lead us into turn number three. Good thing is the 08 got scored. So... That's one less problem we don't have to worry about. Unfortunately, she's going to be one lap down as a result of this. As I had my NR a little too loud. There we go. Junie Carter led the first lap of today's race. Olga Scott managed to get off pit road, so she is still on the lead lap for now. Abigail Fer or Abigail Lynn, sorry, had the lead, and now it's going to go to Alex Winters in the double zero. Alex Winters, who's just recently, um, I think, starting to get ready to turn eighteen fairly soon. As Naomi Hudson currently in the race lead. A couple of drivers who are struggling in the points tables need to start turning their seasons around. There's Aaron Walsh in the 15. 
I believe she was your most recent winner in the Diva Truck series. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. If score, if score four wants to cooperate with me as Kim Patterson leads, I, don't worry, I will put the points back up. And I was correct. Aaron Walsh was your winner last time out two weeks ago at the Phoenix International Raceway. As I'm trying to get score four back up and going. There we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Which means both of the Billy Blue Motorsports trucks have been to victory lane this season. Of course, six drivers have not made a restrictor plate start until today. Uh, coming into today's race. They were... Um, Peterson, Kaiser, uh, Al Alex Winters, who's leading, or was leading, and now it's Hazel Eveling, and here comes Ingrid Pollard in the 99. There's Addison Peterson. Naguera, Murray, and Sarns. Those six drivers are making their first restricted play start. So again, they are Sarns, Naguera, Murray, Kaiser, Winters, and uh, Peterson. Pretty soon, they're going to get ready to lap Oga Scott, who had a mechanical problem or something go wrong on the truck, and she's about to go a lap down as a result. What a terrible way to start off this race if you're Oga Scott in the 08 machine. And there she is, about to go, well, was going to go a lap down, but Peterson got stuck behind her. Now she's going to go one lap down as a result. Addison Peterson, despite running a part-time schedule, is all the way up to 17th in the point standings, despite missing two races. There's Alexandria Sarns in the 57. Will remain in the Diva Series along with Emma Kaiser, no matter what, according to the agreement that Frank and I came to a couple of weeks ago at Phoenix, which... Frank was okay with the decision, so that's good. Addison Peterson, still your race leader, looking for her second win here in the Diva Truck Series as we're getting closer to the midway point of the Diva Truck Series season. We are on race 11 of 25, so we're so. In the next couple of weeks, we'll be past the halfway mark in the Diva Truck Series, which is incredible to believe we're already past the midway point. Ada Chua currently in second. Ada Chua comes into this race 31st in the point standing. She's only had one top 10 so far this season in that Outback Silverado. Ruby White in the Jelly Belly Zero Two machine. She comes in this race fifth in the point standing. Stephanie Liera in the five. Stephanie Liera is not related to Ali Liera. Good run for Liera. Stephanie Liera comes into this race 13th in the point standings. There's Samantha Johnson. Comes in this race dead last in points of the full-time drivers. 42nd to be exact. She needs a, something to go right for her. Of course, her friend Evan Murray only has one top five and one top ten so far this season.
13 kind of up the racetrack. That's eight of Twa. You don't want to be up there because we've seen it before in the um we saw this last season in the uh in all three of the major core series, the PCS Ray Coca-Cola Trucks or actually no, it was the Munster Energy series that if you went up high you had to get out of the throttle and unfortunately caused a lot of wrecks. Hopefully that won't be the case here today. As Claudia Flores has now moved up to the second position. She lost the points lead after a dismal run two weeks ago at Phoenix. She's the one that's trying to retake the points lead heading into next week's race at Milwaukee. Which, by the way, this is the last race for the Diva Cup Series until they take two weeks off. They will be back in three weeks when all three series heads to the to one of the two closest tracks for me as a home race. That would be Kansas Speedway. So Diva Cup Series will be off next week and the following week. It'll be just Diva Trucks and Bush Series coming your way from Milwaukee and Memphis before all three series returns for Kansas. Eva Mata and the 29, Aaron Walsh, our winner last time out at Phoenix two weeks ago. And that's the gal who's trying to run down Abigail Lynn for the points lead. Here's a novel concept. The Abigail Abigail Show. Abigail Lynn, the sister to Courtney Lynn. Abigail Furling, who is the co-owner of Furling's Motorsports. Or used to own Furling's Motorsports. And of course, made news in 2024. She is returning to the... Er, so far this year for Abigail Furling, she is returning to the Monster Energy Series on a full-time basis, which we are so happy for her. Of course, the Monster Energy Series is ongoing right now as we speak in their farewell season before they become the, um, the McDonald's Cup Series next season. Eva Mata. Still the race leader, still looking for her first win of the season here in the Diva Truck Series. Comes in this race seventh in points. There's Giovanna Wright. Do not know if Giovanna Wright will be back in the Truck Series. Of course, she is a GTS Array driver, according to Cody Smart. So there could be a brand new driver for that car or that truck, or could be um Lucy Granger possibly in that truck. We'll have to wait and see as far as that's concerned. Donna Ramirez is going to take the race lead. Donna Ramirez comes in this race 29th in the point standings. It's been a struggling season for that 59 Dodge Ram. That's April Glover in the nine. April Glover comes into this race 27th on the point standings. Only one top 10 so far this season. There's Callup Ambrosia. There's Abigail Lynn, the points leader. Right behind her, two-time winner this season, Emma Kaiser. There have been rumors that Emma Kaiser and uh, Alexandria Sarnes could get could run some Monster Energy Series races during the 2024 year. And also rumors that um, they're working on a deal to get a uh, McDonald's Cup Series full-time entry, which I know team owner Frank is going to be working on that fairly soon. Which we'll have to wait and see about that. Would be nice for Kaiser and Sarnes to get their first ever NR series under their belt, other than the Diva Truck series or and Diva Bush series.
There's Kim Patterson currently in the second position. Kim Patterson comes into this race. 23rd in the point standings. One top five, two top tens this season. There's Shayla Askarov. It was announced that Shayla Askarov will be leaving the GTS Array um, European Series at the end of the year to come to America next season. So that's pretty cool. So, she so Shayla Askarov, the Kyrgyzstan driver. Will be coming to America in 2025. So delighted for her. Of course, just became a U.S. citizen, and she'll be team. She'll be teaming up with this gal right here, Maisie Creighton, in the 26th right now in the Quaker State Silver Auto. Now, Maisie Creighton will also be running some part-time races here, there, everywhere for. Uh, World NOS Racing in what will be the renamed McDonald's Cup Series in 2025. Giovanna Wright in the 04. Also, Helga, I think it was Hel Helga Gunnarsson, I want to say. Been rumors that she could be running a limited schedule before she comes to America. As Carolina Bradley's off the pace for some reason. Not sure what's wrong with Carolina Bradley. As Jessica Smith is currently leading this race. Let's see what's going on with Carolina Bradley. Why she is off the pace. I don't see any damage to the square D dodge. What she's going to have to hope and pray for is a caution. Carolina Bradley is 19th in the point standing, so that's a tough break for her. This is not the result she was hoping for. But uh, back to Maisie Creighton, you know, she's going to run a part-time schedule sharing the 26th with, you know, myself and also... Um, the 23 could also be running a part-time schedule because if y'all are not aware, Annie Thomas, who you will see, which you've been seeing her in the Monster Energy Series, is not running the full, is probably not going to run the full schedule due to her commitments in the TM Master Cup Series. As Peterson leads and Naomi Hudson second, but also if you notice, I'm not running full-time in the McDonald's Cup Series. And I know that kind of alarms a lot of people like you guys. And you're thinking, wait a minute, what do you mean you're not running full-time? Of course, I'm still running – I'm running part-time because of my full-time commitments in the ASCC. So there you go. As looks like Naomi Hudson's trying to get around uh, the four truck. I don't think Carolina Bradley lost the is off the pace to be honest with you, but it kind of looks like she is. There's Tatiana Guerra who made her Diva Cup Series debut last week at Sonoma. Not the run she was hoping for. Let's check on the four truck. Yeah, there must be something wrong with that Ford truck. For her to be off the pace, so, something tells me either like a engine's let go or, or not engine, like either a piston's gone bad or something like that. Whatever the case, that's a tough break for Carolina Bradley. Thought somebody hit the wall back here. So far, we've gone caution-free, and 
Samantha Johnson has taken the race lead. You know what he talked about? Restrictor plate racing that it caters to the underdog who's been really struggling this season. Well, Samantha Johnson fits that bill. Comes as a race, as I said, dead last in points of the drivers that are um, that are um, full-time drivers. I just muted the uh, video I was watching, which is uh, Herschel Arvin Alonzo's video. Releasing, well, by the time you're watching this, already released the schedule for the Cup Series. Coming down the three laps to go, April Glover now has taken the race lead. Stephanie Liera is going to take the lead. And there's a driver I haven't talked about, Olivia Jackson in the six truck, the, excuse me, the Lucas Oil Silverado. I have not talked much about her all day. Nice to see her up at the front of the field. Well, for now. Not entirely sure what Olivia Jackson is going to do. I know London and Violet Jackson are going to be running some part-time schedules in the McDonald's Cup Series. Which I like to point out, we're going to be running the next-gen cars for next season. So, there you go. Coming to two laps to go as... Aurora comes coming up to the front. But here comes Ruby White in the 72 as we're down to two laps to go here at Ricky Raceway in a, by the way, a caution-free race, I like to point out. I mean, this has been the norm of every time a truck race goes caution-free, we end up having wrecks later in the weekend. And that's proven to be the case for the truck series drivers in these last couple of weeks. And here comes Aaron Walsh trying to go back-to-back -back here in the Diva Truck Series. But don't count out Maisie Creighton in that 26 Quaker State Ford F-Series as we're coming to the white flag. One more lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Right now, two drivers are already a lap down. That would be Olga Scott and carolina bradley which i still don't know what it what was wrong with carolina bradley's truck to begin with which as i said before that's a tough break for her as we're down the back straight away for the final time i don't think anybody's going to make a move it'll be the third win for billy blue motorsports second in a row it was Aaron Walsh two weeks ago. It will be Addison Peterson today here in the Diva Truck Series. And she will win the race here at Ricky Raceway. Which I forgot what I said for the race name, which I'll have to go back through the recording and see which race name it is. But Addison Peterson is going to be inside the top 15 in the points after today's race. Good for her. As we're nearing the midway point of the Diva Truck Series. Standings are official. April Glover will get second. Glover came into this race... Uh, not doing too well in points, 27th. This is her first top five of the year, so she'll get second. Abigail Lynn will get will get to keep the points lead. She finished in third. Giovanna Wright got fourth. Let's see where Giovanna, she was 35th in the points, so that's a well-needed run for her. Elena Lydia will get fifth. 
course, Lydia is also going to run part-time McDonald's, but she's going to run the short tracks and road courses only due to not being 18. Uh, Aaron Walsh will get six, so Billy Blue Motorsports have been coming alive the last couple of weeks, you know, taking two out of the uh, last three wins, if you ask me. And Walsh came into this race, I believe she was, let me see where she was in points. She was 22nd in points, so she'll move her way through the front. Jayla Durazin, I didn't talk much about Jayla all day. 28th in the points will move her way up through the points table. And 7th, Shyla Askarov will get 8th. Great run for Shyla, who is leaving the GTS array at the end of the year to move up to the... Um, to move up to race here in America. She came as race 16th in the point, so a nice run for her. In 8th, Chow Dang didn't talk much about her. 18th in the point standings at ninth, And sweet Maisie Creighton, 14th in the point standings, moves her way into a top 10 result. Ruby Walker, Ingrid Pollard, Aurora Coach, Tina Turner, and Alexandria Sarns, your top 15. Look on down to the remainder of the finishing results. The good news for Abigail Lynn, the gal that was trying to run her down for the points lead. Abigail Furling, 38th. Ouch. Claudia Flores, third in points, came home 29th. Abigail Furling was second in points coming into this race. Naomi Hudson ended up 30th, so Abigail Lynn is going to definitely increase her uh, points lead heading into next week's race at Milwaukee. But we still got to cap off our race weekend, though, with the Diva Bush and Diva Cup Series races coming your way from here at Ricky Raceway. If you guys enjoyed today's race, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to become part of the PCS Ray Crew today. We show your full finished results. Your point standings will be in the Discord heading into next week at Milwaukee. Until then, I've been Dean DeVos signing off. Goodbye from Ricky as you've been watching another broadcast courtesy of PCS Ray TV, the best center racing around the world since 2017.